if you registered for the dv lottery 2022 i'm here to tell you that the results are out and this is how you check it hey everybody it's innocent here and welcome to the channel if you're new here please hit on the subscribe button if you're old here thank you so much for showing up so the dv lottery 2022 results is out and in this video we're going to look at how to check it out and it's quite a very simple step this happens when you registered the dv lottery yourself if someone else registered for you i'm sorry but the person would have to check it for you but then if you did it yourself if you follow the tutorial that i put out there this is how you're going to check it yourself so the first thing is you open any browser of your choice and then you're going to type in the dvprogram.state.gov this is the official site to check for you have to be very careful because there are a lot of spam there are a lot of scammers out there trying to put out different urls don't fall a victim so you wait for it to load now since it was released just today and uh, a lot of people are trying to check their own the site might run very slow but you don't have to give up you just need to continue till you get it and if possible you try to check it like at midnight as a lot of people will not be online as then all right so this is going to open for you all right so when you check here it says that uh, the entrants may have their confirmation information starting noon edt 8 may 2021 so if you registered between the period of october 7 2020 and then 10th november this is how you're going to check your results so the first thing you do here is you click on check results so you'll be sent to another page this is the page that you'll be sent to and here is the very important thing that you need to check you don't actually have to rush you can check any moment from now until the giving date with your details and these are the details that you're going to need to check your entrance status the first one is your confirmation number family name and then your year of birth so these are the three things that you need so afterwards you click continue on and then it will take you to the next stage all right so at the next stage here you see that we have two sections starting with 2022 and then 2021 this time around we are going for the 2022 and if you check the confirmation number that was given to you when you registered it starts with 2022 and then the rest of the numbers so what you are basically going to do is you're just going to input in your confirmation number so i've got my confirmation number over here so you paste that right over here and then you scroll down to your family name so you're going to type in your family name or your surname or your last name this is really very important so you type in your family name and then you type in your year of birth so like this one and then you move on to the authentication here which they will give you different set of numbers and alphabets that you're going to all of them are in caps lock so you don't have to type any of them in small letters so this is j4p6 and once you fill in all of these you make sure that your number is correct everything your year of birth and then your surname everything is intact you just move ahead and then you click on submit all right so at this stage you get to know your fate whether you were selected or not and it says that based on the information provided the entry has not been selected for further processing for the electronic diversity visa program at this time please verify that you have entered all information correctly and you may recheck the entry status by clicking on the escape this one here so if you entered everything correctly when you get to this point you're going to get to know whether or not you were selected or not if you are selected you have here has been selected for further processing and then you can proceed to follow the next steps to get to the program but at this point the question that pops up is is there a possibility that the results is going to change for instance if you have not been selected for further processing is there a possibility that the results is going to change when you recheck again well according to the travel state twitter page it says that there is a very less possibility that that will happen that means that if you have not been selected for further processing it will be very difficult for 
you to recheck and then it will say that you have been selected but nonetheless it can also happen and that will happen under two circumstances the first one would have to be when there is a low turnaround in the selection that is when the draw that was made there was like a low number of people that were selected there is a high possibility that another redraw another face will be done and the second one is when the people that were selected refuse to follow up for further processing you might also stand a chance to be reselected but all in all there is a very less possibility that this happens so if you check and then you've not been selected that is not the end of the program another one will start in october that is the 2023 registration and you can also give it a try there is no harm in trying whilst you are waiting to be selected or you are hoping to be selected one of these days for these ones i'll entreat you that you go along with your day-to-day -day activities you pursue your career you pursue everything that you are doing and hopefully one day your dreams come true and then you get to live the american dream so with that said if you have any questions if you have anything that i could help you can just leave a comment in the comment section or you can send me a message on my instagram i'll be very glad to help you assist you to check your entrance status and then um yeah that'll be pretty much it i wish all of you a very good luck if you are waiting to check the earlier the better just go ahead check who knows you might have been selected if the 2023 application opens i'll make another tutorial and especially how to crop your pictures and everything so subscribe to the channel and then stick around so that you get to know whenever the registration starts thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video it's innocence here and bye